snoring is a major uh, focus of our practice, and obviously it's a huge problem. Um, sinus disease might be something that bothers you, uh, but snoring bothers you and another person most of the time. So um, we work very hard to make the patient themselves get good high quality sleep and then to have what we like to call bed partner satisfaction. So I uh, figured out basically once we started doing a lot of balloon sinuplasty that the correction of the nasal blockage was very important in the resolution of snoring. And the reason why basically is, is whenever the nose is blocked, when you breathe air through a blocked nasal cavity, it increases the velocity and turbulence of the airflow. Similar to putting your thumb over a garden hose makes the water come out faster and more turbulent. Uh, for those physics nerds, that's the Bernoulli principle. So when we do balloon sinuplasty and other aspects inside the nose, such as correcting the deviated septum or shrinking allergic swelling in the nose, it dramatically improves the patient's ability to breathe, but it also reduces that rapid and turbulent airflow. That rapid and turbulent airflow actually sucks the soft palate long and makes it beat back and forth between the base of the tongue and the back wall of the throat. So many times, not only are we opening up the nose with the balloon sinuplasty procedure, but we'll actually also trim the uvula, the little dangly guy in the back of the throat, and inject right above it a special stiffening mixture that's made of alcohol. What that'll do is it'll make the soft palate go from long and floppy to high, tight, and stiff, helping opening up the airway. The combination of these two things together, it does a beautiful job in most cases, not only in, of uh, resolving uh, snoring, but also of resolving or improving obstructive sleep apnea. And that makes the patient wake up, feel rejuvenated, and makes the bed partner uh, happy with them.